Hi everybody, my name is Hillary and I'm with Unbound Medicine and today I'm going to walk you through a tutorial of your Nursing Central. Nursing Central is a collection of resources and tools that can be downloaded to your mobile devices and used on the web. It'll provide you with all of the necessary tools to answer questions in the classroom, lab, and clinical settings. Once downloaded to your phone or tablet, you will not need an internet connection. This short tutorial offers a brief introduction to the resources and tools included within Nursing Central, as well as an example of how to use it in a clinical scenario. So let's begin. First, please remember that our support team is here for you. We're available by chat, email, and phone. While I'll provide a brief tutorial today, we have more tutorials inside Nursing Central in your Learning Center. There, you can learn about additional features and tools like how to make and use our mobile flashcards. Today I'm going to show you three items. The first is an overview of our resources and tools. The second is how to use Nursing Central in a clinical scenario. And finally, the companion website. Let's go back to Nursing Central. Today I'm demonstrating on an iPad, but remember that this can also be downloaded to iPhones and Android phones and tablets. Right away you'll notice several icons at the top. Some are for resources, others are tools. First we're going to focus on resources. Let's begin with Davis's Drug Guide. Davis's Drug Guide has more than 5,000 drug entries. It's regularly updated, which ensures you always have the latest drug information. Davis's Drug Guide has been a top resource for 30 years. Many students tend to default to search engines like Google for answers, but students and faculty have told us the answers in Nursing Central are easier to find and more reliable. I'm going to do a quick search for warfarin. Here you'll notice that warfarin is a high alert medication. It's in bold and red at the top. There's a pronunciation, photos, and vital drug information. Need to make a dosage calculation? The calculator icon will take you right to integrated calculators. Next, let's open Tabers. Tabers is your medical dictionary. You'll be learning a lot of new terminology, and this is where you'll go to find definitions for all of those new words. This resource has illustrations. Illustrations are great not only for personal knowledge, but for patient teaching as well. There are skills videos and helpful information in the appendices, which include fan favorites like medical abbreviations. Our next resource is Diseases and Disorders. Diseases and Disorders gives you information on more than 240 diseases and disorders, and it explains the scientific basis for nursing care. Davis's Lab and Diagnostic Tests helps you understand tests and interpret the normal and abnormal results. Lastly, your school has requested Nurse's Pocket Guide. Nurse's Pocket Guide helps you make accurate nursing diagnoses and to develop effective care plans. It includes bolded rationales, NANDA-approved definitions, related factors, defining characteristics, prioritized actions, interventions, and more. There's one more very important resource to point out. The Learning Center inside of Nursing Central is your guide to unlocking even more Nursing Central features and related information. From how to organize notes to timely webinars and wellness resources, we highly recommend that you get to know your Learning Center resource. The other icons we see here are tools. Integrated calculators help to double check clinical conversion dosage and IV rates.
Prime PubMed gives you access to the full PubMed database. In Prime Journals, you can keep track of your favorite journals and also find the information you need for research papers. You'll find favoriting and bookmarking features on your home screen. On the iPad, they're in the lower left-hand corner. Favorites, as you see open already, is a way to save and organize important records. Notes allows you to create custom notes and highlights. I'll show you how to use some of these tools and a few others while going through the case study. Right now I'm going to walk you through a clinical scenario. In school you'll be reviewing case studies or working with patients and you may be asked to create care plans. I'll show you how Nursing Central can help. Here we have our case study. We have a 23-year-old woman. She's complaining of urinary frequency, sensation of incomplete voiding and irritation. She's otherwise healthy, not taking any medication, not sexually active. Her preliminary abdominal exam reveals mild suprapubic tenderness. Let's go back to Nursing Central. We'll begin searching in Nursing Central with a full text search. We'll type in urinary frequency. Seeing no results in the index search, we'll move over to full text search. As we read through the available options, we see that Nurse's Pocket Guide has information for impaired urinary elimination. We'll choose that. Here we can begin reading through the accompanying information. As we read through the information, we see a word with which we're unfamiliar. By highlighting this word, several options appear above in a black bar. Choosing glimpse, we're taken directly to Me Tabor's Medical Dictionary, where we're supplied with the definition and additional information. As I mentioned earlier, Nurse's Pocket Guide includes nursing priorities. By using the section menu to the left, I can jump directly to the nursing priorities. Here, we can read the causative or contributing factors that include urinary tract infection, interstitial cystitis, and more. We'll make a note of this to refer back to later. By highlighting the section that I'd like to use for a note, a black bar will appear above the text. By choosing note, I'm taken to an option for a yellow sticky. There's also pink and green. The colors can be used to organize your notes. I can type a note to myself or use a talk to text feature. When I'm done, that note is highlighted. And when I go to the home screen, that note is waiting for me on the home screen in the first position. By tapping that note, I'm taken directly back to that section of Nurse's Pocket Guide. Before we leave, I'm going to tap on one of these icons so that you can see the key that appears inside Nurse's Pocket Guide. These icons are related to additional care and considerations. Let's look for more information on urinary tract infections in diseases and disorders. This time, I'll use the Jump To menu to look directly within this resource. Choosing urinary tract infection, I am taken directly to this topic. Using the Sections menu to the left again, I can travel immediately to Assessment, where I can read about the history, physical examination, and diagnostic highlights. I'll want to refer to this information later, so now I'll make this a favorite. By tapping the star icon at the bottom of the screen, I've favorited this item 
and I'll show you how this fits in later. For now, let's look into testing information. Using crosslinks, we can find related information throughout the resources. Crosslinks are the two arrows facing in opposite directions. For our purposes, we'll search for your analysis. Right away, we're taken to Davis's lab and diagnostic tests. Here we can read about how this test will help us confirm a diagnosis. We'll favorite this too. We can return to diseases and disorders by tapping the back button. Once again, using crosslinks, we can search for related drug information. For now, we'll choose the first drug, amoxicillin. Immediately, we're taken to Davis's drug guide. In indications, we see that this drug is indicated for genitourinary infections. This may be a helpful drug. We'll favorite this as well. Now we've walked you through some of the elements of caring for a patient. You've checked out the causes of the disease, looked into any labs or tests, and looked for associated drugs. In addition, we used Glimpse to look up a definition and took a note to refer back to later. All of the information you favorited, as well as your note, is saved for you on your home screen. On my screen, you can now see the favorites in the lower left-hand corner. You can now use the saved information to incorporate into your care plan. Let's briefly take a look at the web. As I mentioned at the beginning, you have access to all of this on the web, which is linked to your mobile devices. Anything you do on your mobile device will be saved to the web and vice versa. Here's the home screen. The icons are the same. Favorites is located on the top taskbar and also to the right of the screen. You'll notice that all of our favorites saved from the app are waiting for us on the web. And notes are also seamlessly saved as well. Let's do the same search for urinary frequency in the universal search bar. You can see the sections menu is already open to the left. Crosslinks is already open to the right. At the top, there are options to share, search, make a grasp card, cite a source, print, favorite an item, and tag an item. You can find more information about tagging items, organizing notes, and making GRASP flash study cards in the Learning Center. And that's the web version. All of your information stays the same in your account, and it's just as easy to navigate. And that's a wrap. If you have any questions or suggestions or need any help with the app, contact our support team. You can find their contact information inside of the application or on our website.